it's uh, a little very and uh, gosh it's been a long time but um, over the past five weeks we've had visitors for two and a half weeks uh, kind of finished up on our next project here that we're working on and uh, getting ready to get started with that and uh, welcoming some other folks from the states and uh, family from Europe. Uh, kind of wanted to touch base and catch up with everybody. Uh, thanks for all the emails coming in. I do appreciate that. And uh, while I do thank you for all the folks that have come out, and it's been well over a hundred now, that kind of stating, uh, my God, how my wife and I laughed at you five years ago on the things you were saying. And my goodness, if almost a hundred percent of them aren't occurring or already have occurred from uh, fictitious lockdowns to robbing personal freedoms to ever more and more restrictions. But, um, you know, uh, I mean, uh, hell, you're just listening to a guy in front of an old truck here. And, uh, you know, my dad taught me a long time ago, it doesn't really matter if you're dumber than a sack of hammers, if you learn how to surround yourself with smarter people. And um, some of you could say I'm dumber than a sack of hammers, and that's all right. We've positioned ourselves well. We're not stressed out. Uh, at least I don't appear to be uh, coming across that way. I'm not. I mean, we've done everything we can. Uh, besides that, i uh, been working on uh, Papayota, my new truck, since I lost my last one about eight months ago in a river. And uh, my goodness, we got folks coming in from Florida real soon. We got another few couples coming over the next a uh, few weeks here and um, what I've noticed is what I've been printing about mm, if you want to check our sites about five years ago on the uh, something feels wrong website and that is I was candidly expressing how you're going to find nations are going to start breaking apart and boy did I get a lot of folks laughing at me now well seems like you folks in Alberta where I'm from aren't really laughing anymore and uh, California Possibly Texas, all throughout Europe, and Australia, uh, England, Brexit, and regardless of what happens here, whether it happens or not, it will happen, but it's going to be closer to 2030 to 2032. But you just take a look at whatever you want to think about this, how people are so easily controlled by fear and spreading propaganda. Anybody who's done any unbiased research on the alternative medias realizes quite quickly how senseless this lockdown is and this whole scare about this so-called virus. Yeah, there's a virus and yeah, it's a pandemic, but I've already been through it a few times. Pandemic describes geography, not severity. And I'm kind of not going back there anymore. Those that are stuck in fear, the people that are keeping you in fear know exactly what that does to you. It shuts off certain modes of the brain from thinking open-mindedly. And it keeps you locked behind your face diaper and it keeps you locked in fear. As a matter of fact, most of those people, first thing they do as they wake up is turn on that internet for a fresh dose of fear with their morning coffee because that's what they need. They're addicted. Uh, a lot of it has to do with the processed foods people are eating. Excuse me. A lot of them has to do with the opiate crisis, but we're not going there anymore. It's old news. The people that subscribe to something feels wrong uh, understand more than that. And forgive me for being so long here, but uh, I've got personal things to do also, and uh, that's the reason why it's been so long. Uh, you guys haven't been forgotten about, not by a long shot, but. As one of the things I said up to five years ago, again, if you want to go back in the archives and read them on the website, long before the YouTube channel even got started, you're going to find out, I was saying around first half of 2020, you're going to see a hockey stick uptick in violence in many countries. I said particularly in Europe, followed by the U.S., but how am I on that one? Notice any uptick in violence? Well, you ain't seen nothing yet. Wait till post-election, because no matter in America I'm talking now, 
No matter who wins, the other side's not going to accept it. The left side always paints themselves as a victim, that something was stolen from them, and they're never going to stop that. Pardon me, that's an angry horse just behind me there. I guess I'm infringing on his uh, Sunday morning. <laughs> but in any event, uh, prepare yourselves for it. And I also mentioned around 2019 to 2020, a lot of people are going to be recognizing that voting with their feet for those that are financially able to do so might make sense. I'm certainly not saying my country where I live is the best one to choose from, but I'm glad to show it to people because I'm proud of it. I think the people are absolutely second to none. But anybody who wants to compare a country this vast to have been in a tourist area and think they know something about this country, well, that, you know, like I say, uh, I think it's Einstein that said genius has its limitations, but stupidity is limitless. And, you know, I'm not going to try and talk anybody into anything. There's many other countries that are going to weather the storm so much better. And the simple fact is, because when you live in simplicity, no one can take away what you never had. And once you're used to it, you realize that a lot of what you thought was kind of, I guess, necessity or mandatory, you realize is nothing but fluff. Tuna ain't cotton cans, and corn don't come with a rooster on a box, okay? It, it takes a farmer, and they've eliminated that from your being, from your understanding. And that's all fine. I'm not here to sway anybody's mind here. I just want to catch you up on why it's been so long since you heard from me. And uh, it's been an awful long time. And it's just been that busy. There's that horse again. He's uh, kind of trying to keep me company. I'm going to go pet him after this video here. It's not my horse, but uh, people don't mind that kind of stuff out here. Anyway, uh, stay tuned. And for all you folks that really want to stay in touch with what old Barry's doing in our region and uh, life around here. I recommend you get in touch and uh, get included in my Instagram, which is Barry underscore in underscore DR. And you're going to get almost daily little posts of what's going on, where I'm going, the beautiful scenery, the people, the animals. And just in general, a whole lot simpler way of life that a lot of people are opting in for. And uh, I'll leave it with the uh, saying that I just recently heard, and I like it so much, and that is kind of trying to influence your friends and family that are, I'm not, now remember, that are ignorant. That's not an insult. They're just ignoring information, okay? Trying to influence those that are ignorant is similar to playing chess with a pigeon. It's no matter how good you are at the game, no matter how much fact you can show them, the bird's going crap on the board anyway and strut around as if it won anyway. So, you know, you might want to remember that. Start thinking about yourself a little bit. Because one of the other things I said many years ago when I started doing this is don't worry about these people. When the poop hits the fan blades and you're out somewhere safe with a little bit of extra land, you can rest assured they'll be calling you. And that's the time they're all going to say, boy, were you ever right. Okay, I know it's a little bit late, but all you need to do at that point is say, listen, hop on a plane, pack some clothes. It don't freeze where I'm at. Plenty of food, plenty of fruit, and we'll work it out after that, all right? So, uh, again, a bit of an apology why I've been so late, but look, um, all these people are coming in now, and uh, we've never been so busy in, 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 in a long time. I can't remember when. So old Johnny, Leanne, and I are running on our feet day and night and uh, hosting a bunch of people that are deciding to maybe look at voting with their feet, okay? So until next time, it's Barry and DR. It's been great talking with you all again. Bye.